Let's say you're picking roses and you prick your finger on a thorn. A small bead of blood oozes out. Whenever you cut yourself, blood comes out. This can be painful. Some people faint at the sight of blood, but it is an extremely important part of the human body. The circulatory system, also called the cardiovascular system, pumps this precious blood throughout our bodies. Without it, we would not survive. Blood carries nutrients from our food and oxygen from the air we breathe to all parts of our body. Blood looks red because it's made of mostly red blood cells. These red blood cells carry oxygen to our cells. The white blood cells in our blood fight off germs and infection. When you prick your finger, you don't bleed forever. Eventually, the blood stops flowing. Platelets are what make the blood clot. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets are all floating in a liquid called plasma. Our blood has to reach every cell in our bodies to deliver the nutrients and oxygen it carries. The circulatory system is what moves the blood around. This system is made up of the heart, veins, and arteries. Your heart is a muscle about the size of your fist. You'll find it in the upper left part of your chest. The heart pumps the blood into arteries. The main artery leaving your heart is called the aorta. These arteries carry the blood throughout your body. Once it has delivered the nutrients and oxygen to your cells, the blood picks up carbon dioxide and returns it to the heart through veins. The heart has two different pumps. One sends oxygen-rich blood throughout the body. The other pump sends the carbon dioxide-rich blood from the veins to the lungs. The lungs breathe out the carbon dioxide and breathe in more oxygen. The heart also has four valves, which make sure blood always flows in the right direction. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.